Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Adeline. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> What's that, Lou? Can Rainy read it to you? I can already read. Are you sure? Oh, well, I can't read by my mouth. I can think read in my head. You can think read in your head. <gasps> yeah. Are you sure? How about you let Rainer read his note to you? So it says, Happy birthday, Ally. Here is a present for you. <laughs> What do you say to your brother? Thank you, Rainer. You're welcome. Can you give your brother a big hug? A big birthday hug. Oh, and there's, there's the cone. Yep, yeah, there's the cone. weekend vlog. It is birthday weekend. My daughter's birthday is today. My birthday is tomorrow, so it is currently Saturday. I just wanted to kind of film some tidbits of our day. We made the best of it. We got up this morning. I didn't film this part, so I'm a little sad, but if you saw my Instagram, it was on there. Uh, we made unicorn waffles for breakfast. Rainer helped me dye the batter green because he wanted green batter, and then we made pink whipped cream and covered everything in sprinkles and caramel sauce and syrup and blackberries and blueberries and raspberries it was really good i couldn't even eat it all because i ended up in a sugar coma because i am not a big sweets person that being said today is going to be a day of indulgence we didn't leave our pjs all day long jared is currently running into town to get my favorite pizza which is the pizzaville sepressata pizza it is so freaking good we watched the good dinosaur because it was owl's birthday so she got to pick any movie she wanted and she picked the good dinosaur she cried at the end again <laughs> because that seems to be her mo for movies she keeps saying that five doesn't feel any different because she's not any taller and she said that she hates the virus, but her birthday was still pretty. And that was her comment on her birthday today. <laughs> Marina's downstairs reading a book, Owls with Jared picking up the pizza. And then those kids have had so much sugar today. They are going right to bed after dinner. And then I am going to have a video chat with some of my best friends. And I'm so excited. We're just going to drink adult beverages and be obnoxious in a video chat and it's gonna be great. This is definitely a breath of fresh air from the last weekend. Um, last weekend was rough and I've decided that ain't no virus gonna steal my joy this weekend. It's not happening. My birthday is gonna be fabulous. I'm excited about it. I don't know how I feel about being 30, but I love birthdays and I'm gonna have to keep having them. So I'm gonna have to keep getting older. But that is pretty much all I have to update you on today. I have not even opened a book, although I do plan to do some reading later, hopefully. We'll see. It, d it depends on how many um, adult beverages are consumed during that video chat. I really want to finish The Deep, actually. I read a good chunk of it yesterday, and I'm still loving it. I know that some people think it's a little bit slow, but so far, there hasn't been a single page I haven't enjoyed. I love the writing. It is so captivating. I just don't want to put it down. And if I had had time and proper focus this week, I probably would have finished it days ago. But I just haven't actually had a lot of time or focus to sit down. Uh, but the times that I have, I've really been loving it. I feel like the ending is going to kind of make or break it for me, and we'll see how that goes. For now, I'm loving the deep. I am probably about 60% or so of the way in and just just loving it so far. I think the writing is just fantastic. If you hear a weird high-pitched sound, Mauser's crying because Jared left. Anyway, 
I am going to go downstairs and hang out with Rainer until Jared gets home, maybe sneak in a few pages, uh, drink some water because I have not done that today. I have been so busy. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I also baked that cake, which you saw before this. I baked a cake today. Owl and I baked it together and then we made buttercream and then I decorated it. Actually, she helped with the sprinkles, but mostly I decorated it. Um, but anyway, I am going to go hang out with Rainy Bear, and then we're going to eat all the pizza and just relax and enjoy the birthday weekend. Hi there. Happy Tuesday. I don't know if you can see what's going on around here. I need to update you on my reading, but it's... Do you see this? All of a sudden, it started, like, snowing like crazy, and I have a couple of chickens who got out of the coop. And they're sad because they're probably cold. They, can't get, they can get out, but they're not smart enough to get back in with their friends. But my goodness. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to turn this around. Uh, it's a little chilly outside today. It's just randomly, it was sunny like 10 minutes ago and now we have like a mini blizzard. Oh, um, and now it's starting to get sunny again. This weather does not know what it wants to do. I wanted to pop on here and close out the vlog. I wanted to say that I got absolutely zero footage from my birthday or from yesterday, but I finished the deep which is great. I finished the last 200 pages yesterday. It's Tuesday, in case you didn't hear me say that when I was outside. But I finished the last 200 pages and I am still kind of trying to gather my thoughts. I really enjoyed the book. Like, the writing was so good. Five stars all around. I loved the writing. Like, it was so good. I was so sucked in. I didn't want to put it down. It was such easy reading. Like I could just flow right through the book, no problem. But it definitely like once the spooky aspect came into play more so, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil any of the like ominous feeling of the book or whatever. I don't want to wreck anything. But when that kind of came into play, it ended up being, like, not my favorite thing. Like, I feel like a lot of stuff that went on could have been explained. And then we went in a direction that I was expecting, but was kind of hoping we wouldn't go, I guess. But that's all I want to say, because I really don't want to spoil anything, because... Oh, there's the sunshine. Came right back out. Um... I don't want to say anything because I feel like other people would love the way that the story ended up who are more into that thing. Maybe I will throw like a mini spoiler warning in the bottom of my Goodreads review just to like explain it because I don't know how to do it without taking away some of the like ominous feeling nature of the book. Anyway, I ended up settling on four stars on Goodreads. I haven't written a review yet, but it should be up soon. And I just want to say I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really well done. I'm curious to read some of her other books now, although I've heard her other books are much scarier than this one because this book I would not say is scary. If you're like looking to read it because you love horror, I would say go into it thinking it's a historical fiction with a spooky twist, but not like a scary book because I'm kind of a chicken when it comes to books and I didn't think it was scary at all. A little creepy here and there, but like not scary at all anywhere. But the writing was beautiful. I loved it. I thought the characters were super flawed, but really interesting. I enjoyed reading about each and every one of them. We spend a lot of time on the Titanic and just learning about the atmosphere of the Titanic. I loved reading about what everything looked like. I loved reading about the gowns and the people and the style. And I just, I really enjoyed the atmosphere of this book. I thought it was great. And I thought it was a really neat twist on the Titanic story. So I thought, I thought overall really good. If I could give half stars, I would easily give it four and a half stars, easily. 
Goodreads, give me a half star rating, please, I beg you, because it was really good. There was just that one teeny thing where I was like, oh, now I can't give it five stars because it just like wasn't my favorite. But that being said, if it sounds interesting to you, I would say it's definitely worth a read. Anyway, I am going to cut this off here. I need to wash my hair because it's disgusting. The less curly it ends up drying, the faster it seems to get like kind of greasy. But anyway, it's, it's had its better days. It needs to be washed. I need to go do that. And then I need to start next week's vlog, which drop a comment down below if you can guess what book I'll be reading. It's very exciting. Anywho, I'm gonna let you guys go. Leave me a comment down below and let me know something good that happened to you this week or something that made you smile. And while you're down there, if you haven't subscribed already, please do and hit the bell so you don't miss future notifications. I do upload most Mondays and Thursdays and I will talk to you guys all later. Thanks so much. Bye.